Do you remember a show on MTV called Made? Yes. Where they took like these high school kids and they were uh -huh. like, I want to be a football player. Yeah. The dancing or I ones. Be prom queen. The dancing ones and the, the cheerleading ones were always my favorite. My favorite were the prom queen. Really? Yes. Because there was an episode that I really, really liked. There was this girl called Brittany and she was sort of like a goth like outsider type thing and she wanted to be prom queen and she wanted to be prom queen and i think she actually was and she won but what was so cool afterwards was when she went to her friends because they all like hung out at the local tattoo shop and they were like hung out together and then knew each other from like gigs and stuff and what was so cool about her friends is they weren't like you've changed they were like that's so cool like i always wanted to be prom queen like her friends got, were just so accepting yeah because you've got um, episodes like that where their friends would just like not talk to them because now they're rehearsing with whomever or they're practicing this yeah, or they're like, so busy they and you're like for them anymore yeah and you're just like i'm sorry how long does the show take to film like two weeks that's like, what calm i didn't down. get i was like you know that they're doing this just mm. like just hold on for mm. like what two three four weeks or however long it takes to film the show like but now we understand tv and we know that they were doing that i purpose. never understood that i was like just hang on like your friend is doing this they told you they're gonna do it just yeah. like fucking hang on man okay what is your okay so now that we've gone down nostalgia lane uh you have mentioned before in the past uh -huh. wanting to try things that you never did because of various reasons so recently you've got into it's not even various reasons it's one reason and it's because i'm scared <laughs> basically <laughs> you're so nice about my life <laughs> well someone has to okay yes i have if you watch my vlog you know i have recently got into board games to board games because you were scared yes of not understanding not knowing how it works mm -hmm. yeah 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 but you just recently said that there are other things that you would also like to try. And I think it would be a good idea if we documented it in the fashion of made. We could make it like a short little three episode thing per uh -huh. thing that you want to try. Okay. Like you just named skateboarding was one of them. You wanted to try rollerblading. Anything else? There's so I'm not gonna mention anything else because archery, <laughs> horse riding. But I literally have this ball of fear sitting in my stomach now, and how? Because you know, if you ask me to do something, I will do it for YouTube. I've eaten gelatin for YouTube. <laughs> it's not really the same as skateboarding. So, so what? What about this idea? You know, I we don't have a skateboard. We can find someone <laughs> who That's... does and is willing to spend an afternoon <laughs> with us showing you the basics of skateboarding. Literally, we have to find someone who will show us the basic technique of what you want to do. We have to have an episode of you practicing mm -hmm. and there has to be a goal of something that you need to be able to achieve by the end of it. Even if it's just staying on the board. Right. Ideally, it would be something like, you know, like a kickflip or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to turn into Tony Hawk. <laughs> but isn't that the whole point? <laughs> oh my god. So there's got to be like So a you want to do like the goal. intro and the voiceovers and the introduction that of the expert. That would be fucking cool if we, could and do, if we could do that. Like if we had like an expert and... Well, that, that would be fucking cool. Why we don't we necessarily to need to out? put in that much editing, but that would be amazing if we could set it up that same way. But it's the same idea of like you have a goal of something you want to achieve. We get you someone who can help you with it. They show you how to do it. You're going to put the time and practice in, and then you have a goal that you have to achieve. Is there somewhere we can do this where if I fall, because I will fall, I land on something soft? Probably not, but there is an invention called bubble wrap. Put you in it. <laughs> if you can find this person with a skateboard, that will that that will fill in all of your requirements. That's gonna be a challenge because you probably know someone who would be willing to but, teach. And uh, this is all I'm gonna. We'll do this as a part of what the vlogs, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Our combined, our powers combined, Fluffy will die. Um, 
Why? Why I am I agreeing to this? It would be a great idea. I'm literally, I'm like on the brink of tears. I'm so scared. Are you scared of going up the cable car by any chance? Why? Yes! <laughs> oh, that's very expensive. <laughs> Only, unless you go on your birthday. We can uh, go on your birthday. <laughs> we can just pay for one person. Okay, so my conditions are okay. you have to find the person and the board. Okay. And I need a snazzy helmet. A snazzy helmet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Them's my conditions and I will do everything else. <gasps> remember when we went ice skating? Yes. That one time. Do you remember how I was the entire you time? You were magnificent. <laughs> I was a miserable, <laughs> snarky bitch the entire time. I went around, I walked around the ring. But twice. that's what makes for good TV! <laughs> you guys are gonna see You such... just said we understand how TV works now. We do. So. Apparently, me being a miserable bitch is how TV works. That's how TV, though. Like, I'm not. Boobs in the thumbnail, and we're in. <laughs> Jake Paul, we're to watch out. <laughs> We got fluff on the skateboard, bitch. 